I wanted to talk about ContraPoints' video on Envy, but I also don't want to watch it. Again, I've already watched it once. I'm not going to watch it again. I watched it like a week ago. So I'm going to give a take on that really quick. It's incredibly weird to me how, like, she shits on people who have, like, a material sort of critique, a more systemic critique of society, while at the same time showing flagrantly that she doesn't have one herself. Like, it's honestly, it's a very poorly structured video. In general, like, she, she sort of tells you what she's going for in the first 10, 20 minutes, and the rest of it is just her making examples, and then she just randomly starts talking about Nisha, and it's like, um, what the fuck is this? Is this just an excuse for you to put costumes on? We all know it is. Nothing wrong with that, they were great costumes. But when you get down to the substance of it, when you really get down to the substance of it, what she was trying to say is that poor people envy rich people like her, that is implied. She's been getting leaning more into this sort of thing lately because she's been getting criticized more for her wealth herself. It's undeniable that this was at least a partial influence in why she decided to make a video like this and with a point in this way, okay? Her point is basically that poor people envy rich people and that's not the way to go. Well, why do poor people envy rich people? I'm not accepting her definition of envy and why it's such a terrible thing. I'm just saying, even if we accept a definition, it's kind of weird. And you can see that she really doesn't, fundamentally doesn't understand it with her example of Marie Antoinette, who she, for some reason, decided to identify herself with, which is not a good thing to do. She tried to make it out like, like people hated Marie Antoinette because they envied her, because they, there was this massive smear campaign against her, showing her as like living a life of hedonism off the wealth of others, blah, 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 blah. And she's like, that's, so that's why he was executed. And I'm just sitting there like, how are you going to shit on people for having a material systemic understanding of these things and make it out like that's why th this anger boiled over into executing her? Mary Antoinette was in an absolute monarchy, an absolute monarchy that, you know, through, through its different, its different um, leading families over generations upon generations had caused these people's suffering directly, caused the suffering of untold millions upon millions of people all for their own benefit, all to retain their own power. And yeah, Mary Antoinette herself might not have been super conscious of that. Does that make her less guilty? I mean, no, doesn't matter. D does, it, does it matter if she really had amazing sex orgies while living a life of hedonism or not? No. What matters is why she was depicted in that way. Was it because people env envied her? No, it's because she oppressed them. It's not that people wanted what she had, take it from her and take it for themselves. It's that she literally fucking oppressed them and their ancestors. Well, not her particularly, but the system that she not only represented, but was actively involved in upholding, mis like, oppressed these people for hundreds of fucking years. That's why. That's why these s smears were born. True or not, that's why they were born. That's why, that's why the righteous anger against her and everything that she and her family represented came to a head. But ContraPoints wants you to think that it's just the poor is envying the rich. So yeah. Pretty yikes take there, ContraPoints. Really, ContraPoints, for all of her glamour and ability to keep the viewer's attention, she really doesn't make good arguments that are even remotely strong enough to support her conclusions a lot of the time. Anything, rem anything remotely systemic, she really falls flat on. I mean, I enjoy watching her videos. She's entitled to her opinion, as, as they say. I'm not going to cancel her, but... She very much lacks a systemic critique, and I think it's been getting worse ever since she started making so much money. And if you want to talk about, like, why monarchies need to fall, why, lamentably, things like executing monarchs was seen as a necessity during this time and also during other times, such as during the Russian Revolution. It's not because people hate these monarchs personally. It's not personal envy. It's because by declaring yourself to have a divine right to rule over this massive tract of land and that everything that you say goes, blah blah blah, you are making yourself an active impediment to any sort of new system. As long as you live, as long as there's people who think that that's true about you, you living is an existential threat to any sort of um, systemic progress. That's why the Bolsheviks they had to kill the Tsarist royal family and at the root of it that's why Mary Antoinette was killed. A great way to to not make people think that your entire family needs to be executed in order to have any sort of systemic change in society would be to not declare your family to have a divine right from God to rule over like everyone okay 
that would be an extremely great way to facilitate that. Because by doing that, you kind of breed people who think that's true. Even if you abdicate or whatever, you breed people who think that that's true and who are going to use your existence as like a, a casus belli to keep like trying to overthrow whatever new society these people have formed. So pro tip, don't declare yourself to be, have a divine right from God to rule. You know, if you want to protect your children, don't, don't declare them to, to have a divine right by virtue of blood to rule over a country or an empire. Pro tip, epic pro tip, you know, life hack, life hack. If only, if only life hacks were there, you could have told them this and avoided so, so much bloodshed. Pro tip.